So happy Monday. It is the 9th of May. We are past our first week of the challenge and I wanted to give you guys an update and also share with you another one of the boxes that I was able to check off today and really help you understand how that uh, how that works. So last week, I think on Sunday, last Sunday, I started uh, the seven day tracking system for my, my food. Now I told you guys, I use my fitness pal to track my food and I've been tracking my food for a little over 12, almost 13 years now. And I use it constantly. I use it every day and I teach people to use it every single day. And so it isn't a very difficult task for me to do this, but I want to share with you why it's so important that this is something that we want to encourage you to do. So uh, last Sunday, I started the program. I started um, started my, my, my tracking, which I do you know, pretty much every day, but I want to show you what happens with this. So I eat pretty much the same things for my breakfast. Uh, I have a snack in the mid morning and a snack in the middle of the afternoon. Those pretty much stay the same every single day. I, I have them pre-made. They're all ready to go. My lunchtime meal um, can vary from day to day. Sometimes I have clients that I have to, to go out for. And so I eat out or I take my meal with me or I have certain things around that I know I can eat that fit my macros. Um, I also prepare food on the weekends for me to have during the week. And then there's some evenings that we make dinners that are carried over for lunches the following day. So it's not that I have the exact same thing every day for lunch, but pretty much the same things throughout the week that are really easy for me to track every week. And then for dinner, we have about eight or so recipes that we that we kind of flip around during the week that we purchase all the foods for um, on the weekend. And then we just make those meals. And those are recipes that fit my macros, that I know what, they're, what's, what the portions are, and they're super easy for us to make. In fact, that's one of the, the boxes on here I'm going to check off this week is being able to share some of those recipes with you. So it makes it very simple for me to put that into my tracking method. And so I started last Sunday, and I want to share with you, you know, kind of what that looks like. So last Sunday, um, I started tracking. Here's, here's last Sunday. And you'll see out there, it says I have 390 calories left, nine carbohydrates, 33 grams of fats, and eight grams of proteins left that day that I didn't eat. Now, if I didn't have this in here, I think um, if I go, yep, yeah, here's, I left the day blank prior to, so you could see exactly what my numbers are. Those are my current numbers, my macro numbers, 4,200 calories, 314 grams of protein, 140 grams of fat, and 421 grams of carbohydrates are my macro goals. So when you look at that number of 390 calories left for the day, um, that's not a significant number of calories for me to, to be down for the day. Um, the only place I missed it was in fats. And so I wasn't really, um, wasn't too worried about it. But if I go forward on Monday, you'll see that number changes. Um, I was over my carbohydrates that day. I was slightly under my protein. So the numbers changed slightly based off of some things that I ate. And then on Tuesday, it was a little bit different. I went over, I still had um, some, a couple of carbs left. I went over my protein. I had 202 calories left for the day. And remember, I have to eat 4,200 calories. So for those of you who are sitting around 1,800 to 2,200 calories, 200 is a lot of calories for you. For me, 200 calories is well within a, a small margin that I can, can kind of fluctuate from. So don't think that it's okay for you to be 200 calories under every day for you guys that, that need a significant less number of calories. Um, then on Wednesday, there's my Wednesday, 181 calories left, slightly over on protein, really good on all the numbers. The next day, same thing. 116 went over my protein that day. I know for dinner we had on Thursday, we had um, uh, pork medallions and I ate, was very hungry. So I had a little more protein than I normally would. On Friday, um, Friday is our typical day uh, that we will potentially go out to eat for lunch. And this day I did go out for lunch. I had a little bit more protein and carbs than I normally would get. And then on Saturday this week, um, you'll notice that there was a significant amount of protein that I missed, 45 grams of protein that I missed. Um, I'm sorry, that I went over and same thing with carbohydrates. And this day uh, we went out to eat. I ate way more than I normally would. Um, and so that was a problem for me. Now, yesterday, however, you'll notice that I went way over my calories, way over my protein and way over my carbohydrates. So yesterday was a very unique day for me. Um, I don't normally do this, but uh, I ended up having uh, friends come over and we spent uh, time doing things, um, hanging out, 
um, eating snack foods and things like that, that I don't normally eat. And so when I put those into my fitness pal, it really threw me over my carbohydrates and my fat and my proteins for the day um, and making it kind of out of whack for me. But the point is, and the reason I want to point all of this out is I tracked my food for the whole week. And you'll notice that early on, my numbers were really, really solid, slightly under, tiny bit over, always pretty consistent. There was only one day this week that I had numbers that were completely out of track with the rest of those. And even at that, we're only talking you know, 48 grams of protein and 80 grams of carbohydrates that I was over, which for me is not a significant amount for me to be way out of whack. But it just shows me that day I was allowing myself to be free to do what I wanted to do and enjoy my day with my friends. And it threw my numbers completely off, but it wasn't enough for me really to be worried about. What I do when I work on these numbers with my clients, though, is if those numbers fluctuate like that every day, that is the reason you're not obtaining your goals. That's the reason you're not getting um, the fat loss that you want or the muscle gain that you're looking for. It's not that you're messing it up on a Sunday. It's not that you took Sunday off and did something. That Sunday isn't going to hurt me. What does hurt me is if it looks like that every day up and down and one day it's over one day it's below and it's all over the place that's where your body has trouble really figuring out what to do so if you're consistent about your meals 90 percent of the time that one that 10 percent where you're off track doesn't really throw me out of whack at all now i will say this it didn't sit well with my stomach i didn't sleep very well last night and i woke up this morning feeling really sluggish from all the sodium and all of the extra calories and stuff that i had in my body but it also reminded me that that's why i go right back to doing what i do today and i've already started tracking my food today everything's back on track normally but the whole point in this exercise is to help help you see that over time your tracking needs to be consistent. And the more consistent your numbers are day in and day out, those little blips in the screen don't really matter. If your food tracker looks like that last day of mine where it's blipped up and down all over the place and everything's a, a mess, that is the reason you're not meeting your goals. So track your food, track, track, track. You've got plenty of time left in the month to get started on this one. Seven days is a good distance for you to work on this, but it's also not very long when you considered what your goals might be. So start tracking today. If you need help, get with your coach, find out what they do, find out how they help you, and uh, let's continue tracking our food. All right, so that means on my little tracker here, track my food for seven straight days. I get to mark that one off my list. And there is my bingo card so far. So hope you guys are doing well. This is the second week. Get to work on it. If you need help, let us know. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Bye.